Hi, welcome to Mr. Rogers' afternoon clay class. Uh, this is part three of a coiling video. And here is a coil pot that I started yesterday. And it is very leather hard. It is very, very strong. Um, and I need to make it taller. So I need to add coils today. So this first coil that I add on, it is extremely important. It's crucial that I score and slip it on. If I don't, then this coil will never stick. And this is where my pot will break. So when you are building a large coil pot, it is very important to build it section by section and allow lower sections to dry and stiffen and strengthen before you start to add any more sections. So this is very typical of coil building where you'll get half of it or a third of it complete one day and then a half or a third of it done the next day and then perhaps the next day finish it. So this is a small coil cylinder suitable for cup, mug, but really it could be whatever I want it to be that requires about that size. So I'm making my coils about the same thickness as a pencil. And I have a pencil laying around here, so they're about the same. And then I like to flatten my coil. Not everyone does. Some people just go ahead and attach the round coil. But I think it works a lot better when you just flatten it out ever so gently. All right. Now this has to be scored. Well, the first eight or so inches of it. because that is the radius of the, not the radius, but the circumference of the coil top. All right, here's my slip right here. And I'm gonna slip this up and attach this first coil. Now the coils I add after this coil, they don't have to be scored and slipped you could score and slip them if you want, but you don't really need to. Because when you attach soft clay to soft clay, you just need usually a little bit of moisture and a lot of pressure, a lot of smashing. All right, looks pretty good. Now I am slipping up this coil. I'm going to be pretty generous with this slip. This uh, coil pot I made yesterday, is it is really leather hard. It is. So I'm going to be extra diligent that these stay together. All right. Connect it there. Make a little ramp. Set this in place. And this is the only way you can attach a soft coil to a leather hard piece. You have to scratch it and attach it. You have to score it and slip it. If you don't, it will not stay. It'll, it look like it's staying, but it will pop off as it's drying. Now I need to set these coils in place and smash them. 
So I pinch and I set them and I smash them. I want to see that slip ooze out of that seam on the outside and the inside. And that's telling me that the slip is doing its job and it's filling in all the cracks and crevices. Don't want there to be air. in between those two coils. All right, that looks pretty good. They're set. Let me pinch these a little more narrow. That looks great. So now, this next coil add on, I add on. Does not have to be scored and slipped on. Put my slip back over here. Because now the clay that I'm attaching it to is soft. All right, check that thickness or that gauge, some people say. And it's about, about the same. It's pretty important that you stick with the same gauge or thickness coil the whole time. Otherwise you may have some issues. Flip that, flatten it ever so gently. And again, I'll show you that cross section so you could see how I flattened it. It's more of an, an ovular ellipsy kind of shape. All right. And I'll just take my sponge, add a little bit of moisture here. Now this coil is nice and soft. Just like the coil I'm putting on top of it. So I'll build a little, whoops, get you in the frame there. Build a little ramp right here. And spin that. flatten that ramp right there. All right, let me set that in place. Smash it down. Now yesterday, when I put these layers on, I couldn't pick the coil pot up like this because it was so soft and gooey. But now that I can handle the, the form, it makes it a little easier to do some of these steps. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, you wouldn't know it by looking at it, but this section is soft and gooey. This section is leather hard. And I could I could keep going and make this be about three inches taller for a decent sized cup. Um, and I think I will, but that'll be in another video. Um, now, it's important how I store this. If I was done for the day, I would need to wrap this up in a bag pretty tight and not let any air get to it. So um, these two sections can equalize. And what that means is the water that's in here will migrate down into here um, by itself automatically because of diffusion. Diffusion is where water 
um, moves from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration all by itself and it will try to find its own level so this whole thing will want to have the same amount of moisture everywhere it's just how water works um, but that needs to happen in a bag and not exposed to the air otherwise this will dry too fast and the water won't be able to get in there all right thanks for watching until the next video